Hello, welcome to today's talk. Today's topic is designing an edge computing infrastructure for Industry 4.0 deployment. In a 5G enabled smart factory, there are machines, there are sensors, they connect to an on-prem edge cloud where you can deploy innovative applications. These applications could do quality control, they could be safety critical applications, they could be running machine learning algorithms, etc., to make your life easy. My name is Anurag Ranjan. I'm a platform architect at Intel. My background is in mobile wireless computing. I've been working on edge computing. And prior to that, I've worked in energy sector. Let's spend a moment on understanding what is uh, Industry 4.0. So Industry 4.0 is about uh, smart manufacturing. Uh, it's the fourth wave of industrialization. The previous three uh, are counted as the steam and mechanization, use of assembly line and mass production, and use of computers and automation. Industry 4.0 combines smart devices and smart infrastructure. It can solve the key challenges of the demographic shift in developed economies. It's getting a lot of attention because it promises to level up the field between the suppliers with a strong supply chain and buyers with limited market power. We have seen this uh, with cloud computing, how a common platform leads to reduction in CapEx and OpEx, while at the same time brings new products faster to the market at an affordable price. The key technology building blocks needed in an industry 4.0 end-to-end -end solution consists of smart devices, uh, cloud infrastructure, and 5G communication infrastructure. In this talk, we'll focus on the infrastructure side. What are the key building blocks uh, or key platform considerations for Industry 4.0 Cloud? Uh, we are focusing on in infrastructure components, so those smart devices and machines are not shown here. However, it is fair to say that the machine intelligence is distributed across device and infrastructure. Depending on the latency requirements, safety risk, etc., these will be the key considerations to decide um, where the workload runs. So, in a time-sensitive uh, network data flow QS, uh, there are network settings or floors uh, that divide the compute workloads across three domains: operational technology, edge technology, and informational technology. With that clarification, let's see what is needed to make a cloud platform. For industry 4.0 application. We start with networking. So in a legacy network with miles and miles of cabling, you know, this is a challenge to roll out a new technology platform and be able to troubleshoot. This is the day minus one and the day zero um, timelines. Mobility of small devices uh, and as well as uh, larger devices uh, with uh, robots, etc., is another challenge. Therefore, connectivity to the cyber physical systems or devices is shown here as wireless network. It could be a 5G or a Wi-Fi 6 or an LT over licensed and unlicensed spectrum. This would need a physical function or can we run in a cloud net as a virtual RAM? There are open platforms available that, are, that have well-defined APIs and if needed, source code access uh, is also available such as Intel's Flex RAN based uh, virtual RAM. Next, we need a data plane. Uh, these are some, there are some good options available now in open source, such as OVS DPDK. Uh, this is uh, Open vSwitch with Data Plane Development Kit, as well as uh, VPP, Vector Packet Processing. For cloud native applications, there are also container networking interfaces, the CNIs that are available. Each provides their own benefit. Third, we need to prove uh, and we need to provide a proven application framework that uh, simplify the complexity of applications. One common framework that keeps coming up in my projects relates to visual inferencing and visual analytics. And we use Intel's Open Visual Inferencing and Neural Network Opt Optimization, Open Vino Toolkit. Now, to manage the applications and platforms, we need a controller. From cloud native world, we can easily pick up Kubernetes to do the job. Next comes the orchestrator. An orchestrator is used for onboarding new applications and libraries, and which it can then launch on request. A VIM is a virtualization infrastructure manager. It manages the virtualized infrastructure, the compute resources. In a bare metal or, or more accurately host-based cloud setup, this role may not be as critical because there is an alternate solution depending on how big is the system. 
um, the Kubernetes infrastructure itself would should be able to manage that. And that's what we will be using or that we have been using in, in mostly in my projects. To run the Cloudlet and the compute workload, we need a hardware platform. And, and this consists of process, network cards, and, and hardware accelerators. Last but not the least, we may want to run latency critical workloads in our Cloudlet where it makes business sense while we run uh, non-critical applications in public cloud. And, and this can be done by cloud connectors or cloud adapters. That will be specific to devices and the cloud service provider. For example, the digital twin of a machine from one industrial equipment provider will be different from another. So some cloud connectors are available in OpenNest Edge Cloud Kit that we will see next. In our example, I'd be borrowing references from a software toolkit called Open Network Edge Services or OpenNest. It is uh, an edge computing software toolkit for building edge platforms and cloudless, whether for telco, on-prem, or hybrid cloud. It can be used to onboard and manage edge applications and network functions. This is built on top of Kubernetes, so it provides cloud-like agility across any type of network. On the OpenNest GitHub pages, you can find references to onboarding and launching multi-access network functions. These are CNS. It provides ability to orchestrate FPGAs, ESX, or media accelerator cards, and then other um, hardware accelerators. Some ready-made applications and references can also be found, like multi-cloud connectivity, transcoding, AI, video analytics, etc. Provides um, data plane functions, options, um, and CNIs. Select the one that matches your hardware, software, and application needs. There's telemetry information. This can help measure and monetize edge platforms as well as help in resource scheduling. Um, there are other examples uh, that may be useful for your for your particular applications. So it's worth exploring further. Uh, we show here a logical view of Cloudlet um, built using OpenNest. It consists of Kubernetes master node. Uh, when using OpenNest, you can tap into the enhancement that helps with networking and edge application deployments. Then there is one, or probably more than one, Kubernetes minion nodes that run the data plane, that uh, run the hardware accelerator, as well as the application workload. The data plane services, um, they shift user traffic in and out, and they connect with sensors and physical systems. They collect data, and they send commands, responses back to actuators. Uh, it's a very simple example. Here, what we, we show here is um, from the physical systems and uh, sensors, we collect data, um, we can do monitoring, we can do quality control, uh, we can also do schedule, we can also schedule maintenance, et cetera, based on the sensor inputs. On the OpenNest portal, there is an edge inferencing OpenNest experience kit. Uh, there are Ansible scripts that help build and install uh, on the target server a small application and edge inside software framework for enabling smart manufacturing with visual and point defect inspection. Uh, it uses uh, OpenVINO toolkit from Intel. The easiest way to create the setup is to run the Ansible scripts. There's an Ansible host from where you can run the scripts. Uh, this is only needed during the installation. And based on the configuration, it will install the Kubernetes master, the Kubernetes worker, and it will build and create containers for video ingestion, video analytics, etc. as shown here. The Ansible scripts and, uh, this, and the sequences as shown um, in, in this block diagram. This is an example demo app and that plays a video of a PCB manufacturer and defect detected. And that's also available in, in the sample application. So in summary, um, what we've seen, Industry 4.0 will consist of cyber physical system that will rely on an on-prem compute infrastructure for latency sensitive applications. We've also seen smart manufacturing will embrace cloud native technology within their operational ecosystem. Uh, for agility and for lowering costs. And we've also seen uh, Intel provides hardware accelerators and software building blocks for such systems to deliver platforms that enable flexibility, agility, and performance optimization that are foundational for Industry 4.0. You can find more um, at these sites. So 
for openness toolkit you can go to openness.org there's also a github page um, which is also linked from this site um, you can get uh, training on 5g as well as um, a solution index is available from the github page for openness um, the eis as edge inferencing software as we call it as the one that we were referring to earlier is also available um, from the github page and then you can download sample application and try it out with that uh, we come to an end thank you very much